Hey guys, I'm Ashley, and welcome to our This Is Thankful series. We're so glad that you are here joining us this week. In this series, we're learning all about how we can be thankful, and we're gonna start by singing a song about our memory verse, Psalm 107, verse one. And it says, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His faithful love endures forever. Let's sing it together. Wow, that was a great song. I love that song because it reminds me that God is so good to us. We should take the time to thank God and the people around us. You know, that reminds me of our two friends, Gavin and Oro, and they're gonna teach us more about what it means to be thankful. And I heard they have a really cool airship. So let's check it out and see what happens. Hey there, everyone. Glad you can join me today. My name is Gavin. I am an innovator and this is my magnificently mechatronic Moto Mobile Innovation Lab. Let's head up and get started. Why can't I get this last wheel to stay on? Oh, hey, Oro. No, I'm not finished yet. In fact, it seems I'm far from it. I know I said we would go airboarding, but I'm having more trouble with my latest invention than I anticipated. I call this a bi-bicycle. I have all the other parts working. The handlebars work, the seat and pedals work, even the rocket boosters work. I can't seem to get the last wheel to stay on. How can a person ride a bi-bicycle with only two wheels? Of course I'm following my design specs. I would let you see them, but unfortunately I've misplaced my design book. I've been working from memory. Sorry, Oro. I guess we'll have to reschedule our airboarding for another day. Why would I need the remembering machine? To remember where I left my design book. Hey, that's not a bad idea. Oro. Why are you staring up at me silently for an awkward amount of time? You act like you are waiting for me to say something in response to your most excellent suggestion to use the remembering machine to find my design book? Oh well, maybe there's a glitch in your programming. I'll check you out later.
Aura, why are you acting so strange? No, I, I don't have anything to say to you. At least, not at the moment. This was such a great idea, Oro. The remembering machine will help me remember where I last had my design book. That way, I can be sure I have the correct specs for the bi bicycle. <sighs> what a weird little dude. Ah! Ah! Eee! It stings! It stings! Oro! Oro, could you please come here? Oro, I have something to tell you. I just remembered that we are supposed to say thank you when someone does something nice for us. That's right. I wish you would have reminded me when... But what I mean is, saying thank you is a simple but powerful way to show others we have an attitude of gratitude. Whether it is a big gift or simply a kind word. Or a helpful idea. Oh, right. Oro, thank you for suggesting I use the remembering machine to help me find my design book. That was a very helpful idea. And I know where my book is. That's why the third wheel won't stay on. There are only supposed to be two wheels. Speaking of, what do you think about changing the name from Bi Bicycle to the High Bicycle? Yes. Now we will be able to go airborne! Woohoo! Yeah! Wow, that was so awesome! Gavin was able to remember that thankful means to have an attitude of appreciation shown in word or deed for something that has been done for you. So now, let's see what Pastor Steve has to say about how we can be thankful and how it ties to our Bible story this week. Let's check it out. Hi guys, this week as we talk about being thankful, we're gonna examine what it means to have gratitude. Now having gratitude is simply just saying thank you. And there's a group of guys in the Bible who had every reason to say thank you, but not all of them did. Take a look at this. This is thankful the thankful leper. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. Jesus did many amazing things while he was on earth. It's true. One day, he was traveling to Jerusalem and was going through a village when ten men who had leprosy came to him. Now in the time Jesus lived, leprosy was a terrible sickness that could be caught very easily. Because of this, people with leprosy were sent outside of the places that they lived. They were called unclean, and no one wanted to be close to them. Ah, gross! But when these men who had leprosy saw Jesus coming, Hey, Jesus! They called out to him and said, Jesus, have mercy on us. And Jesus saw them and said, Go show yourself to the priests. Oh, yeah, we in that. And as they went, they were healed and had leprosy no more. Whoa, woohoo! When one of the men saw that he was healed, he came back to Jesus shouting, Praise God! Oh, yeah, praise God! He thanked Jesus for what he had done. Ah, uh, hmm. Jesus asked, Didn't I heal ten men? Where are the other nine? Has no one returned to give glory to God except this Samaritan? Looks like it. Then Jesus said to the man, Stand up and go. Your faith has healed you. Thank you. And so the man was healed because he had faith and he was thankful for what Jesus had done for him. Now, how would you like to be Jesus? And you just healed these guys and all of them just... Hey, hey. Pastor Steve. Hey, guys. What are you doing? Uh, we're shooting a teaching video. Oh, well, we're on our way to 7-Eleven. We need money for Slurpees. Do you oh. have any money? Do we have a uh, dollar? Well, sure, just one? Yeah, just a dollar. Okay, well, okay. Wow, I guess. Oh, hey, I forgot to say, thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. You're very welcome. You know, that's sort of what happened to Jesus. Jesus did something great for these guys. I just 
loaned them a dollar. But did you notice that two of them just took the dollar like they deserved it and went on? But one of them came back and said thanks. That's what it means to show gratitude. It means that you show that you're grateful and thankful for what happens to you by saying thank you. Jesus healed these 10 lepers of a terrible disease. Now leprosy was considered to be a real nasty, contagious disease. And if you had leprosy back in the day of Jesus, no one wanted to be around you. You were an outcast. They put you literally outside the city. You couldn't be inside the city because it's very contagious. And they would have sores all over them and they would lose the feeling in their arms and legs. It was a really nasty disease. But when Jesus came by these 10 guys who had leprosy, he told all of them, you're healed. They got up and they left. But just one came back to show gratitude. Just one came back to say thank you. When Jesus does great things in our life, guys, we don't wanna be like the nine lepers who think they deserve it, or the two guys who just grabbed the dollar bill that I gave them and walked off like they earned it, like they deserved it, like they're entitled to it. What has Jesus done in your life that you haven't thanked him for? You know what I try to do every single day? I try to take a few minutes to just express my gratitude to Jesus by literally saying thank you to him when I talk to him, because that's what prayer is. Prayer is just talking to God. Each day I take a few minutes and I say, God, thank you for bringing these blessings in my life. Thank you for the opportunity you've given me to invest in these kids and their families. Thank you, Lord, for the blessings you brought into my family. I will say out loud, I will thank Jesus, just like I was talking to you. I'll talk to him and thank him for what he's done for me. I wanna challenge you this week. Each day this week, I wanna challenge you to show your gratitude to Jesus by saying thank you to him out loud and thank him for, thank him for very specific things. And when you pray, just simply say, God, thank you for these blessings in my life. When you do, that's showing gratitude. So this week, you can be thankful. You can show that you're thankful by remembering to be grateful for the great things that God's done in your life by just saying thanks. We love you guys. We'll see you next time. That was such a great video. We were able to learn more about how we can be thankful. God is so good to us, and we can be thankful by remembering everything God has given us. Now, Gavin and Oro are gonna help us remember what we learned today. Let's go ahead inside their airship and see if we can answer their questions correctly. If you know the right answers, say it out loud. Let's go. Hey there, everyone. Before you go, my robot assistant, Oro, who has an excellent memory and is even better at fixing things than I am. Okay, you are much better at fixing than me. Anyway, we would like to play a little game. Oro and I are going to test your knowledge on the topics we discussed today. I'll ask you a question and give you three options for the answer, A, B, or C. You all shout out the correct answer when you know it. I agree, Oro. Let's get started. On his way to Jerusalem, Jesus met 10 men who had A, leprosy, B, a second case of the chicken pox, a medical anomaly, C, a fresh box of pepperoni pizza. The answer is A, leprosy. Out of the 10 men who were healed, how many went back to say thank you to Jesus? A, three. B, all of them. C, one man. Correct, the answer is C. Unfortunately, only one man came back to thank Jesus for healing them. The 10 men were healed because of their A, intelligence, B, their faith, C, the number of Pokemon they have collected. Fly them high, fly them low, fly your airship wherever it will go. Oh, uh, you are correct. The answer is B, they were healed by their faith. All right, everyone, that does it for today. Thank you for joining us for our series, This is Thankful. Oh, thank you, Oro. I almost forgot. God blesses each of us in many different and wonderful ways. And he has given all who accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior the ability to be called children of the living God. Great idea, Oro. 
Everyone go out there and use the mind and heart God gave you to invent new ways to show your thankfulness for all that God has done for you. Goodbye for now. We're so glad that you joined us for our This Is Thankful series. Our hope is that you remember how important it is to thank God and the people around you. God is so good to us and there's so much to be thankful for. So this next week, try to remember to thank God for all that He has given you. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.